Okay, so now what we're going to do is with this we're going to work on how to implement our sorting scores. So we're going to get this button working. So at the moment it does nothing. That is because if you look at our scores model, set modules, everything to do with scores is in our scores module. Beyond here, there is no code. And what we're going to use is basically a selection sort. So remember, with selection sort, you basically sort of go through the list and we sort of swap them around if we find something that is lower than it. But we, it is not the most efficient. <coughs> so what we need to do is run our way through this. Okay. So what we're going to have is start with a for loop. And we're going to consider that you know, this outer loop is the one that's going to end up having the sorted information in it. So for sorted is start at zero, so starting at position zero of the list, to the upper bound of our scores. Now remembering scores, if we go into our configuration, scores is our array that has all the scores actually in it. So we're going to go back. I'm just going to, when I finish this loop, I want to get the next sorted, so that will get first time will be zero, then the next time we'll go to one, two, three, until we get to the end. And that's what we want to happen, have happen. Now, what we need to do is deal with our sorted, unsorted. So we want to go through all the unsorted. Options remaining. So we don't want to do the ones that we've already sorted, we just want the ones that are remaining. And to do this, we're going to start with the, our for loop. So when unsorted is equal to, we're going to start that as being equal to the sorted position. So the first time will be position 0 and the same. And it's going to be, you know, the next time will be 1. So we're only going through one time each. 2. Up around. Band scores. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go through to all the scores. Once again, I'm just going to do my next unsorted. My spelling is going crazy. There we go. So next unsorted. And now this is where we want to compare the items to see which is smaller. Okay, so that's our process. So if scores, so if the unsorted one dot score, so the actual value of it is there, is less than scores sorted, so the current actual sorted one, Then, oh, missed a bracket somewhere. Ah, just generally my problems with syntax. End if. I always like to put in the starting and closing sections. Normally in other like languages you can just use the curly brackets straight away. It makes it nice and clearer. So if it is smaller, swap them. So remember to swap information, we need a temporary variable. And we're going to make it as one of our data types, a high score, so we can store all the information. And temp is going to store scores unsorted. You could do it with a sorted, but I'm just doing it this way. And then into that one, into the unsorted position, we're going to store the sorted one. Then we store the temporary one. Okay, I'm going to save that. Back across into access. Where is it gone? There we go. 
back into access. Okay, now that I've actually implemented that, I'm actually just going to go and change this color back to black so that I know that's something I've done. You might want to put a blue to show that you've done it. And click on the load form to run it. Remember, by default, it's already loaded up the files. So I'm going to click on my save scores. It's actually going to save them because that already runs. I actually wanted to click on sort scores. Then I click on display. What you'll notice is it's coming with this zero. I'm going to talk a little bit about that later. But if you look at the rest of the numbers, they are all sorted in ascending order, which is quite cool. Now, the reason why that zero has popped up is due to an error in a load and save data. We're actually creating an array that is slightly too big. It's got one more element that we need. So that's an extension task for you is to try and work out how to basically go and modify the, that load and save so that it doesn't have this extra item on the list. Alternatively, what we can do is just to get a quick hack to get this working. Back to our sorted scores. When we do the unsorted, we can just take a minus one off. So it's basically saying, don't use the one right at the end because there's nothing actually in it. It does the same job, but you might want to look at ways of implementing it better in the loading. But we can't do everything for you. You've got to sort of think about some of these. So that's the sorting scores. What you can do is implement that code, and then, using the same sort of theory, see if you can sort it by the ID. So it'll be very similar except you're just going to change what you're going to compare it with. And then, here we go with sorting scores by players. Then think about any other situations where you could do this sorting. 